Hey, good morning. It is a fine morning. Nice, calm morning. Good morning. Start burning some brush. We're going to clean up some mess around here. Uh, you saw the one video where we did the dirt work, put in the new septic lines for the house over here because we're going to put a new shop over here. Probably be the Muddy Feet TV headquarters. So that, and we're going to do all the building on this channel here, the concrete work and everything will be on Muddy Feet TV. So, and the building of the building. But we got a little mess to clean up. We got to burn a lot of lumber over here. We may, uh, I don't know if I'm wanting to keep anything out of here or not. Uh, I need some materials to start a, I want to build a smokehouse. And there are some materials over here. Um, we'll just have to wait and see what I get into. But there's, we got to get all that cleaned up, get all this stuff moved. So we got to trim some trees out here. And we got to get this brush pile, who's pretty much, I'm, I'm willing to bet a, a big toe on my right foot. There's probably a copperhead or a rattlesnake in that brush pile. So it could get exciting when it gets time to start moving that. But first, we're going to burn this down here we got a we got a wet line stretched across so um yeah be exciting day uh it'll be a good day if i get all this done that i want to get done you know how that goes sometimes so but yeah that's what we got going on not fishing today i'm sorry guys i know you're probably looking forward to a good crappie slaying like we've been doing let's get her pear burner out better get something like that with I did it's right here <laughs> it's in my pocket I wouldn't think it'd take real long to get this thing going. A lot of good firewood in there. I wish you have been thinking ahead. Good day to burn. It's cool this morning, not much wind. Not supposed to be much wind today. The humidity's up like 95% today. So a lot of the stuff that's floating up in the air coming out of this has a it's gonna have a hard time getting anything else started. Plus we got a wet line in case that gets going. So hopefully, hopefully it goes as planned. If not, we'll have us a really excited video. I think we're going. I didn't think it's gonna take a whole lot. I think we got it burnt down enough we can get some of this old lumber off and get it starting to burn. Very pile of this. I don't expect I don't expect this to take real long. Oh good, we're gonna get to burn some ants up. Well, something we ain't got a shortage of is ants. Especially all these oak trees and all that. Throw that in crossways, that'll help get some air under some of these boards. That'll definitely get things going a little better. Key to a good fire. Key to a good fire is good, good wood, good airflow, and throw in a couple of fire chiefs, and you'll have yourself a, a good fire.
we have made some headway. It's gone a little slower than what I thought, and some of it's my fault. I pushed, ended up pushing some dirt up on top of that and slowed the process down quite a bit. But, yeah, well, all this brush pile's gone. Just a few twigs and sticks left over. All that's been burning and gonna smolder down. I may get the tractor bucket in a minute and try to push some stuff around, and I don't wanna get too close with it, cause a minor, could be a major disaster, actually. Ah, uh, next. Still gotta burn the product that's on that trailer there. I gotta get those tires aired up. I'm fixing to, um, maybe fixing to do that next. Um, I gotta trim these trees back. Back here, somewhere, you know, where this little brush line is along here, that's the proper lines inside of that. We're gonna stay on this side of it, but I gotta trim these trees right here. I gotta trim them up. We don't want the, the bulldozer to get into those. Nip a few in here. Gotta do something with this load of crap right here. I don't, I'm not sure what's gonna happen there. Uh, so, a little bit more work. I think we can get a bunch of it done today. Well, we got the tires aired up. I was a little worried about them, the seal or the bead being broken, but they weren't. So we're starting the process of emptying this trailer, getting all that burnt. I know there's probably several, several hundred dollars worth of lumber there, but it's old and bent up, and you name it, it's not any count. I can't use it for forms or anything like that. Hey, when you make good braces, it splits up so easy. So best thing to do is just turn it in ash. Get it out of the way. Let's trim some trees. We're gonna make a, I'm gonna use these limbs and we're gonna build us a fresh crappie hole with them. I got a sacrificial strap I'm gonna lay down on the trailer, throw all the brush on there, then I'll strap them all together. And then we'll take a couple cinder blocks and some rope and we'll, uh, uh, we'll we'll sink it. This is kind of a junky strap. Maybe it'll work. I think we're gonna get quite a few limbs off this.
Well, we gotta make us a hole in the fence to get in here now. I don't know how fancy I'll make it. I'm, for right now, though, I'm gonna cut it off. Cut it right here, and I'm gonna go down two more, past two more posts, and go right there and cut that off. I think I'll end up having to cut it off back here, and then I'll take that taper that entrance in, and the same thing over there. But just for now, just for a temporary entrance, uh, I'm gonna take out this from this pole, leaving that pole. Take these two poles out, and then take that right there off. So that's what we're gonna do, y'all. Y'all hold your ears. This, my friends, is a new crappie hole, the beginning of it. Uh, a bunch of big limbs I trim and stuff. I gotta get some of these blocks right here, throw on the trailer. We're gonna take it down there, cinch it all up, and try, try to drag it off with the boat and drag it out to somewhere that we 
think that it would be a, a good spot to catch some crappie. So, yep, let's get that done. That's, that's the last of our chores. All right, we've got our brush pile wadded up. We got us a good ratchet strap in there. I don't know if you can see the cinder blocks. I got cinder blocks in there. Now the trick is, is get the old boat here and get that and hope that a limb don't hang up and I drag the ranger and trailer it all into the lake. I've got the tire scotch, got the ranger in park, but you know that boat right there is pretty that gun powerful. I've seen it do amazing things. So hopefully it'll all stay intact with it ratchet strapped together. I've got it tied together. And then uh we'll get it out there and get us a good spot to, to mark her mark a pile with so I'm trying to figure out a good location to put this camera maybe right here maybe right there man. get to drag it after a while. I had to finesse it and work it and retie different spots and finally got it to go out there. I don't, heck. It's an 18 foot of water and it's in a different area of nine brush piles. There's lots of brush piles down through this cove. So hopefully, hopefully it'll produce. It'll get us some fish on there. We'll, we'll try it out in a few days and see what they think about it. So I'll get him something else. We'll talk to you later.